Rachel here and today I'm going to be filming for you guys a graphic novel haul. Um, I've been holding these for a while now and I had actually filmed this already one time and then I decided I didn't like the footage of it so I decided to go ahead and refilm it. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff that I got uh, I think at the end of October. October. I have five things to share with you guys. I have already read two of them and so yeah I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first graphic novel I had to share with you guys is going to be Odyssey by Matt Fraction and Christian Ward. Now I had heard a lot about this graphic novel. I had heard how um awesome it was, how progressive it was, how, you know, amazing, and uh, the artwork is so great in it, and so I picked it up pretty, pretty much because of the hype. What this pretty much is, is it's a retelling of the Odyssey, but with space and gender and it's gender swapped so all of the men in the odyssey are going to be women in this graphic novel and this unfortunately for me was not very good i ended up giving this a two out of five stars and i ended up giving it a two purely because of the artwork the artwork in here is just absolutely amazing i mean if you look at the colors and the panels it's absolutely stunning but as far as the story goes guys Guys, I've got to be honest with you guys I have no idea what the hell happened in this graphic novel like I know the basics of the Odyssey the Iliad by Homer I know the basics of it and so there were certain points in here that I understood like you know the whole part with the Cyclops but other than that as much as I love Matt Fraction the story really really did not get get it for me I really just did not enjoy it um, the writing style was very odd uh, I just it did not work for me in a graphic novel so unfortunately even though I really loved the artwork of here I will not be continuing this and I unfortunately cannot recommend this to anyone the next graphic novel that I picked up is going to be The Wicked and Divine by Gillian McCleave, Wilson, and Cowles. This is the second bind up of the comic book series or the series The Wicked and Divine. This one is going to be Fandemonium. The first one is The Faust Act. And I read it for the first time, I think, last month. And I really enjoyed it. The artwork is like some of the most stunning artwork I've ever seen in a graphic novel so therefore I just had to pick up you know the sequel to it so I'm looking for a uh, beautiful picture a beautiful big panel picture like it was in the first one hoping I find one do am I gonna find one but the artwork in here is quite it's beautiful the panels are great it's very like um, I don't want to say cartoon like but it's really it's really easy to read really easy to follow if you don't know what the first graphic novel or the first bind up or the first trade is about it follows pretty much every 90 years these 12 gods come back and they're loved and um, every year every 90 years they're loved and they're t dead in two years and right now it's happening and so this one pretty much is supposed to pick up off the end of the other one. I'm really looking forward to reading this one and I'm hoping to get to it really soon. The next graphic novel that I picked up is going to be Chew by John Lehman and Rob Guillory. Now I'm picking this one on the recommendation of Sauna and Lindsay and I am really hoping to enjoy this one. I only picked up the first volume of it just because I don't like to pick up a whole bunch of different books in the series if I haven't enjoyed it yet. That's why I'm kind of picking up the Sandman rather slowly. But but this is the first one I'm probably going to enjoy this but this pretty much follows a society in which chicken has been outlawed it's a black market product um, that's been outlawed by the FDA after a big avian flu happened and our main guy is a detective and he's a SIBOpath so when he eats anything he can see the way it was raised uh, the pesticides used in it and if he eats a little bit of human flesh he can see how they were murdered and uh, so I'm really really hoping to enjoy this one I've heard it's very funny and very gruesome and that just sounds like something I'm really going to enjoy the next graphic novel I picked up is going to be Witches by Snyder, Jock, Hollingsworth, and Robbins. This is volume one. And I picked this one for the Halloween season because I've heard, I had heard this was like terrifying. And so I thought, why not? And while I will not say that this was terrifying, this was 
a bit of a mind thing. Like it is it's pretty, it's pretty dark. Pretty much this follows uh, a family who has just recently moved after their daughter was bullied and her bully mysteriously disappears and her their daughter is convinced that she is the one that uh, that killed this girl even though you know they never find they never found the girl's body and then all of a sudden these weird things start happening in this new town that they live in it was really emotional reading the end of this graphic novel it was very um it it got to my heart like uh what happens at the end is very emotional and i really really enjoyed this i think i gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars maybe 5 stars i can't remember exactly but i really really enjoyed this and i'm quite looking forward to the next book in or the next volumes in the series and finally one that is long overdue for me to pick up and I'm probably gonna have to reread the first one just to remember exactly what happened but the next one is going to be the bind up or book two of the last man why the last man by Brian K Vaughn Jose Marzon Jr. Pia Guerra and Goran Parlov. This is a graphic novel series that follows pretty much the, in the United States or in the world everything with a Y chromosome. So all the men, animals, it doesn't matter if you've got a Y chromosome, they all just disappear, just die in a day. And uh, except for this guy named Y, and, well not this, but this guy named Y and his pet monkey and uh, he is pretty much trying to uh, survive and find his girlfriend I guess in the first book but it was really really good um, but I'm probably going to need to reread it just to so I can read the second book in it. I picked this up on the recommendation of Lindsay uh, the first one and I liked it enough that I wanted to go ahead and continue with it it's just I had a really hard time finding the graphic novels in like paperback or the books in paperback I can only ever find them in hardcover but I recently I recently went to a Barnes and Nobles in a bigger city and a bigger Barnes and Nobles that ended up having uh, some of the volumes in paperback so I'm quite pleased about that. But yeah other than that those are the, all the graphic novels, all the artsy type things that I've picked up lately. If you guys have read any of them let me know down below but other than that guys I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.